Welcome to another video tutorial on Science E Solution. My name is Manju Sharma. If you are new to my channel, you may not be knowing my name. So I am Manju Sharma and I take online tutorial classes on various aspects of biology like biochemistry, microbiology, cell biology like that. So if you are searching for a clear, simple concept on various subjects of various topics of biology, so you can watch my video till end and if you understood that concept please hit on the like button and also subscribe my channel for various updates and if you have not understood it you can also hit the dislike button no problem so let's get started with today's topic that is repetitive dna it is repetitive dna or repetitive dna actually i always get confused with the pronunciation whatever it is it is repetitions of various segments of the dna various base pairs in the dna it is given on the screen and also written on the board it is repetitive dna so let's get started with today's topic that is repetitive dna so in eukaryotes there are two types of dna one is non-repetitive dna and the second one is repetitive dna the non-repetitive DNA is also known as unique DNA. This unique DNA, it codes for proteins in our body. Okay, they code for, actually they transcribe for mRNA and then the mRNA translates into various proteins. Only 1 to 2 percent of DNA of our body, it is non-repetitive or unique DNA. Now, isn't that amazing that we say that the main work of DNA is producing different types of proteins and when we see that only 1 to 2 percent of the total genome is non-repetitive or unique DNA then what is the rest percent of the genome the rest part of the genome consists of repetitive DNAs the repetitive DNAs means the segments or the many base pairs are there and they are repeated in a sequence throughout the genome these repetitions can be tandem or can be dispersed throughout the genome now earlier scientists believed that the repetitive dna are junk dna that means most of the part of our dna is junk dna as they do not code for any of the proteins but now the concept has changed but let's see now what are the different types of repetitive dna this repetitive dna means repetitions of base pairs in the genome that is again of two main types one is highly repetitive dna and the second one is moderately repetitive dna highly repetitive dna as the name suggests the base pairs the nucleotide bases are there and these nucleotide bases are short that means they consist only of uh, take for example 5 to 500 base pairs these are short nucleotides as compared to the whole genome okay so these short nucleotides they are repeated many times more than 10 to the power 5 million copies sorry more than 10 to the power 5 copies are present throughout the genome that is highly repetitive DNA and this type of DNA they are found mostly in the heterochromatic regions of the chromosomes that means in the centromeric portion of the chromosome these are also known as satellite DNA let us take one example for example uh, A A G G C T this is one sequence of six base pairs I am giving example so this is a sequence of six base pairs and it is repeated one million times in our body. So this is one example of highly repetitive DNA or you can also say it satellite DNA. Now the second type of repetitive DNA is moderately repetitive DNA. Now moderately repetitive, moderately means lesser number of times than repeated, a highly repetitive DNA. Now this moderately repetitive DNA, it consists of long nucleotide basis that means the number of nucleotides is more in numbers as compared to this one it consists of uh, 5 to 1000 okay 1000 base pairs can be present now this 1000 base pairs if they are repeated 100 times then it is known as moderately repetitive i think you have understood moderately repetitive means it is a long nucleotide base pair sequence and it repeats hundreds of times or thousands of times throughout the dna that is moderately repetitive dna 
Now this moderately repetitive DNA, they are again of two types. One is tandem repeats and the another one is interspersed repeats. Now what is tandem repeats? The, first let us see what is the meaning of tandem. Tandem means one after the other than another. Means these are present without any gap, regularly adjacent to each other. That is tandem repeats. So those moderately repetitive sequences that are present adjacent to each other, okay, that are present in tandem, that is known as tandem repeats. And those moderately repetitive sequences which are not present adjacent to each other, that means they are not present in tandem. They are present dispersed throughout the genome. One sequence can be present here and the another sequence can be present on the other part of the genome. But the sequences of the base pairs is same. So that is interspersed repeats. That means the sequences are dispersed throughout the genome. Okay. Now, this tandem repeats are again of three types. The first type is multiple copy genes. Now this multiple copy genes means many copies of the same genes is present throughout the genome. It is also known as mega satellites. Now the next type is mini satellites that is also known as variable number of tandem repeats or VNTRs. Now mini satellites these are again moderately repetitive sequences repeating tandemly. Okay, VNTRs. Now the third one is micro satellites short tandem repeats. It is STRs or short tandem repeats. Now this VNTRs and STRs, they are present in variable numbers in different persons. For example, one base pair is repeating 1000 times in my genome and it can repeat 100 times in your genome. So it is different and it is used as a principle for DNA fingerprinting. So VNTRs and STRs application is based as the principle of DNA fingerprinting. It makes the principle of DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting is done on the basis of VNTRs and STRs. About the satellite DNA, mini satellites, micro satellites and DNA fingerprinting we will see in my another video tutorial. Here explanation of thorough explanation of all these satellite type of DNA and also DNA fingerprinting. Now, the last type was interspersed repeats, means the repeats dispersed throughout the genome. It is again of two types, signs and lines. Signs means short interspersed nuclear elements. Full form, short interspersed nuclear elements. These are short nucleotide repeats throughout the genome. For example, allo sequences. And lines is long interspersed nuclear elements. So, its example, if they are long nucleotide sequences repeating throughout the genome, its example is L1. Now, again about the signs and lines also, we will see about in details in my another video tutorial. Now, whatever was thought of as a junk DNA, I told you earlier that repetitive DNA was thought of as the junk DNA earlier. But now the scientists believe that this junk DNA is highly a source for variation of human population means any individual variation may come from this VNTRs, SDRs and all that, the various types of repetitive DNA and it can also be the cause of various genetic diseases and cancer. I hope you understand this. Thank you for watching.